Welcome to the project demonstration of solar wind piezo based hybrid power generation system along with storage and inverter for grid applications. So here uh, the main application stages here is uh, first of all we are going to get the generation station sources we are using wind, solar and piezo and next grid. So totally four sources are used to provide to charge our battery pack. Coming to the sources rating, so here we are using 12 volt 20 watt uh, DC generator. So here we can see the DC generator which was attached along with the gearbox, uh, which is the gearbox used to increase the gear ratio 1 is to 2. So whenever the wind turbine rotates one rotation, this gearbox will convert that 1 to 2 rotations and that is input to this generator. So that is a 12 volt 20 watts of generator we are using uh, for power generation purpose. And next 12 volt 3 watt solar panel. Uh, and next piezo plates as directly 12 volt of uh, 10 milliamps only as uh, we are not getting the sufficient current as we are using the piezoelectric plates they are under still development uh, that's why we are using that in low current mode only that's why we can't get the LED indication for uh, the output demonstration and the next is 12 volt 1 amp transformer uh, which will get 12 to the 12 AC inputs and provide us the uh, 12 volts of AC output that is input to this battery pack through this charging circuit. So here the ratings are 12 volts 1 amp and 12 volts 10 milliamps and so this will convert the mechanical force energy to electrical force energy and solar panel 12 volt 3 watts sunlight energy to the electrical energy and wind energy to the means mechanical energy here wind energy will be converted into the electrical energy. So these are the sources for the battery pack charging purpose. So here we have mentioned the input select transformer S for solar, W for wind, P for piezo. So every source consists of uh, respective names. So transformer here, T we need to connect over here and piezo connect here and next solar panel. So solar panel and wind. So coming to this charging circuit station the, uh, description. So it has the mainly uh, three stages. One is rectification, filtration and next unidirectional current flow to diodes so the rectification nothing but when we providing the ac inputs this rectifier ic so which is of db107 ic which will convert the ac to pulsating dc and this capacitor will remove the pulses and provide the pure dc voltage and these two diodes will acting as a unidirectional current flow purpose means whenever the battery is charged then in order to protect the uh, sources from reverse current means the wind should not get the reverse current the solar piezo and transformer should not get the reverse current that's why we place the diode in forward bias only the diodes will acting as a current flow from transformer or from the sources to the battery pack so total here we connected to the four batteries directly connected to this battery pack for charging purpose now coming to this indication so just when we rotate this the wind led will be on so here we can see this remaining three sections one is okay fine when you are putting the AC from the transformer so which will acting as a rectifier but remaining three also rectifier as there the purpose is piezo will provide the AC signal so when we apply the force charging and discharging means AC current will be produced coming to the solar panel it is providing only DC source but it is again given as input to this rectifier IC the purpose of the rectifier IC is so if we connect the solar panel in reverse bias so there may be chances of connecting this two pin in reverse direction then instead of giving the reverse current production purpose we are using this db107 as a polarity corrector when we providing the dc inputs this diode will acting as a polarity corrector when we providing the ac input which will acting as a rectifier ic coming to the wind so it will rectify the input in clockwise counterclockwise see so the clockwise indication and the next so counterclockwise indication so in both directions it can provide the voltage as it will rectify the polarity so when it is rotated in counterclockwise also right so just we are providing this uh, dismantling that so you can just place this over here so for easy shipping purpose right okay counterclockwise clockwise we get the same voltage right okay so it's a wind piezo solar transformer covered for this charging circuit so after that the voltage will be given as input to the 12 volt 1.5 ampere battery pack so in that each cell consists of 4 volt 1 amp battery are in series so we'll get three cells are in series so we'll get 12 volt 1.5 ampere dc output so in order to utilize that power 
to the AC load we are going to use inverting circuit. This inverting circuit consists of two stages. One is inverting stage and there is step up stage. So the inverter will convert the 12 volts DC to 12 volts of AC and step up transformer will convert the 12 volts AC to 230 volts of AC and that will be input to the load directly. So while connecting check that this uh, alligator pins should be connected right to the right side. So check twice ma before getting connected. So just I am connecting over here. Okay. To the pin and this is the off one. Just keep it in off position and then make the connection to this black. Okay. Black to black, red to red, the positive side. Now you can on this. After these confirmation polarities, then only on this. So right, we can utilize that. So before disconnecting, keep the pin to off stage and you can disconnect that. So before connecting, keep the switch in off stage and connect and check twice the connection pins properly then on this. So now the operation is the system will convert the 12 volts DC to 12 volts of AC and then after 12 volts AC will be converted to the 12 volts, uh, to the 12 volts of AC step up with the help of the step up transformer. This was the step down transformer that is step up transformer coming to the charging time so either from the solar panel or wind or transformer it will get fully charged in a duration of 4 to 5 hours till the duration which should keep the battery under charging so just now we connected the 2 volts ac input to this now it is converted the 12 volts of ac to 12 volts of dc pure and after that we given as input to this one so when we place the more lighting on the solar panel then we can see the more lighting intensity from this solar panel section as of now low intensity was there that's why getting the low lighting so when we cover the total things the light total will be off and now you can see I am placing towards the tube light slowly the lighting is increasing okay right thank you